Finally tonight, at a parish in Queens, young people are practicing faith and sports at the same time. And the youth minister at St. Bartholomew in Elmhurst acts as their teacher and their coach. She is tonight's Pulse of the Parish. Church bells ring at St. Bartholomew's in Elmhurst, calling parishioners inside, calling them home. And that's exactly what this church has become for the thousands of immigrants who make up the parish. It's a very diverse community. You have um, not only Hispanics, but we have a lot of from um, Bangladesh, from the Filipinos, Chinese, Indonesians, Burmese. As the son of immigrants himself, Father Andrew Choi fit right in when he was assigned here around two years ago as a newly ordained priest. But he tells us it was Irish immigrants who formed the parish back in 1906, holding mass in the nearby Baptist church. Five years later, in 1911, this church was built. It's now called the chapel because the current bigger church down the block was dedicated in 1930. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Masses are now held in both places, accommodating the large number of culturally diverse worshipers, like these parishioners taking part in the Stations of the Cross in Fujianese. Despite the cultural differences and um, linguistical differences, it's beautiful to see how everyone comes together and worshiping our Lord in this beautiful church. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And that includes the younger generation who gets together every week at the church to pray. We ask you that you open our minds and play. It's called Faith and Sports. Be strategic, be strategic. They're led by youth minister Angelica Tavares, who is also a newcomer, both as a parishioner, she only came to St. Bartholomew's a few months ago. Sometimes we're blinded. And also as a first generation immigrant. I was born in the Dominican Republic, um, but I came to New York um, ever since I was a little girl. So she can relate to the kids and they listen to her and trust her. I want you all to blindfold yourself. Angelica brings the stories of the Bible to life in unique ways. Jesus touched their eyes. Immediately they regained their sight and follow him. Having a space where they can come in um, and know that they're welcome, know that they're known by name, know that they are respected and building trust with them. Um, creating a space where they're also comfortable to explore their faith, ask questions and at the same time have some fun, build friendships and do it through sports. Angelica spent 11 years in the corporate world but felt a call to work in the church. I was a volunteer in the church, um, but the need to give more to our young people in a parish setting, it was just instilled in my heart. Just listening to the call, that mission and the desire to give more of that of what God has given me. The bottom line, faith can be fun, and Angelica is right where she needs to be. When people tell me, do I have children? I say, I, yes, I do, I have many. <laughs> and now you know Angelica Tavares from St. Bartholomew's and how she makes up the pulse of the parish. Faith and Sports is held twice a week, one night for middle schoolers, the other for high schoolers, and some of those high schoolers have become leaders and help out Angelica with the younger kids. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video, and if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, because we are putting your faith in the news.